guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Patricia here, back with another video. If you're new to this channel, definitely make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. Today's video, we're going to be doing assumptions about me. I asked on Instagram, oh yeah, if you don't follow me there, yeah, definitely make sure you go ahead and follow me now. Um... Yeah, so I asked you guys assumptions about me. So I got a couple of uh, questions, assumptions, really not questions. So I'm going to go and like just go through them and just um, really like tell you, like just talk about it, you know. So it's a way to get to know me and at the same time it's quite fun. I feel like this is pretty interesting. So I got myself some coffee. So... Definitely make sure you get a drink because we're going to be here for a little bit and I think it's going to be fun. So get yourself a glass of coffee, tea or wine, whatever you prefer. I just want a coffee so that's what I'm having. Anyway, so let's start. I have you, the youngest sibling. No, I of my mom and my dad together I am the youngest but then my mom had another one. And my dad had two more, like, separately, so I'm not the youngest. Yeah, I'm actually third oldest. <laughs> but yeah, there's five of us? Five, six? Five? There's five. There's five of us. Five. Six. No. Yeah, there's six of us. <laughs> Including me, there's six. Yeah, okay. Anyway, let's move from that. Uh, You get confused with left and right. I do kind of get confused with left and right. Not that I get confused, I have to kind of go left, right, if that makes sense. I don't even know if that's going to be like left, right in the camera. But yeah, I get. I have to say it like that so I know if that makes sense. Uh, I'm embarrassing, but whatever. Your siblings are your best friends. My siblings are definitely my best friends. I love them so much. And I can talk with my brothers for days until they're like, Patricia, fuck off, you talk too much, don't want to talk to you anymore. But yeah i just love them even my sister like my sister's the youngest so it's a bit different but yeah i have a really good relationship with all my brothers and yeah it's just amazing you know they definitely are my best friends i don't mind saying that you have no <laughs> you have no friends you might just rude i do have friends not a lot though i do have a small group of friends that's for sure and i love them and i'm glad like i have no problem with having a small group of friends but i do have a lot of people that i know and they're actually very friendly and i would just say they're my friends not my closest friends but they are my friends like i i say i see these people like friends people that i could go to for like certain things you know some type of friends there's things you can go to them for and things you can't if that makes sense so like you have a friend that oh i can go with this friend if i need like money or something and you know i can go to this friend if i need some advice with my boyfriend or something like that you know things like that you know which friend to go to so but yeah i do have definitely closer friends but i do definitely have a small group of friends that's for sure but i do have friends like i definitely have friends wait okay you Okay, yeah, I went to a different one. You have a small circle of friends. Yeah, that's literally what I just said. That tops it up. Final. You don't give a fuck on what others think about you. I don't really care what people think about me, but I do sometimes take it, like, take it in, if that makes sense. I'm the type of person that just don't really care for opinions because I judge myself a lot. So I'm a Virgo, and Virgos do, like, are really harsh on themselves. And I do judge myself all the time and try and make my character a little bit better as much as I can. But I don't take criticism. Like, if you criticize me or anything or just tell me, oh, you too much, like, you too harsh or you too this. And I'm just like, whatever, it's just who I am. I can't change it. But you can't, Patricia. You ha I have to change this attitude because it's actually wrong. And people tell this to me all the time that I just like, you know, but I'll try to be a little bit more smooth, you know, because some people are actually soft and, you know, they take things to heart, you know, Patricia. It's got to be a bit more friendly. But, yeah, so, yeah, I do. And certain things is, like, if people mention, like, what I look and things like that, I don't really care. Or if people tell me, oh, certain thing doesn't look nice on you or something like that, if I like it, that's all I care. Like, I don't really go for what but i can't tell you i don't really care what people think because i kind of do i do ask people for opinions so therefore i do care what people think right mm -hmm. i don't know we move you have a secret boyfriend <laughs> okay secret to who <laughs> you know 
you're workaholic. I'm definitely a workaholic. I definitely work a lot and I love working and I've always did. I've worked since I first ever started working. I have worked a lot. So, and I always worked a lot. Don't mind working long hours. Don't mind doing extra shifts, nothing like that. So I, I do love working. So yeah, but even though right now I'm actually not working and I'm loving the fact that I'm not working. So the only thing I miss is actually the money. Besides that, I could live this life forever, you know? But yeah, anyway, <laughs> just because I'm also at uni and makes it a bit easier because I'm actually busy on like every day I'm super busy during the week. So it doesn't make me miss being outside much besides being a pandemic anyway. So it's not like we can go anywhere. So being at home is actually not bad because I love being at home. Literally love being at home. Uh, that you love being at home. Somebody just said that you love being at home. I definitely love being at home. Like, I love being home. It's like, good. I'll dress up or, like, get ready and just be home. Like, today, I wasn't planning to record this video. Uh, well, I was supposed to record this video, like, three days ago. <laughs> but I put makeup on because I needed to take some pictures, uh, to shoot some content. So, I thought, I finished that early. I've done quite a lot today. Why not record this video since I've got makeup on? I might as well just waste it, you know? So that's why I recorded this video. So I do love being at home. I can do everything I want at home. So um, why not? But I mean, I do miss the outside now. I literally want to go outside. You know, I always say like I miss going out so much. But then I think, Patricia, you were never out that much. So what do you miss? But I do miss. I do miss going to a restaurant. I do miss even going to a uh, cinema. I do miss like doing activities outside, even going shopping. Like just being outside with people, you know, I actually miss that. I do. I really do. Anyway, the other person said you got a boyfriend. If I did have a boyfriend, I'm sure I'll let you guys know. So until that day comes, let's pretend I have a secret boyfriend like you guys say, you know? You feel like your uni course was a waste of time. So my bachelor's degree, I don't feel like it was a waste of time because I... I mean, I liked, I did what I wanted to do and I liked the course itself. But one thing I feel like it was nothing challenging. It was nothing that actually, I was like, it's, this is hard. Like this is actually challenging me to use my knowledge or like do my some research to like discover something new. Like it was something that, it wasn't that much bigger. But there was common sense things that, you know, so it wasn't, there was theories obviously that I had to learn and everything, but it was nothing. By the way, I didn't even management and tourism. It was nothing that, it was new. The only thing that was kind of more newish was tourism, but I kind of hated it. Don't ask me why, but I just hated studying tourism. It was just, I can't describe it. I just, I was not the best fan of it, like not at all. But events management was fun. It was actually... It was nothing challenging at all and that's what kind of triggered me a little bit not that i regret doing it i loved it and i like that i have that as a course especially now that i'm actually doing stuff about it but i just feel like i should have done something a little bit more challenging like i'm doing now finance and accounting as a master's pardon me and i've learned so much so far like i learned so much every lesson that i go to and it's so interesting you know you know i leave some lessons and i'm like oh my god what the hell are they talking about and then i go through everything and i'm like okay now that makes sense you know so it's something that i'm actually learning because i've never studied this before so it's actually really interesting so i wish i actually did something like this from the beginning because it would have actually challenged myself for it if that makes sense so i like to challenge myself i like to learn new things so this that i'm doing now is literally perfect uh you don't show your is that where i am yeah you don't show your emotions i don't but in a to a certain extent like i don't show my emotions to a certain extent for example if um like if i feel something i can't straight away show it it's like I will hide, like, if I'm hurt, if I'm in pain, I don't really share it. It will be, I'll probably, like, share with one person or probably no. Like, if I cry, I cry by myself, wake up and be like, yeah, we move from that. I don't really go to people and, sh and cry unless you're talking to me and you actually make me cry. That would be a different situation. But I don't, like, call people and I'm like, oh, I'm crying. 
you know this this happening to me i don't really do these kind of things and when something happens to me i usually like keep it to myself for at least a, a, a few days like to rethink everything deep everything in until i can actually go to somebody and be like shit this happened to me and then once that happens and i've shared with a couple of people then i'm like oh shit there's other people that actually need to know about this but it's not it's not something i don't really show like that you can tell that oh patricia's upset or there's something wrong with patricia or it's really hard for you to know like i don't like yeah i don't know unless you message me but or you actually or if you call me and i'm actually crying and I answer a bore the chance that I would answer the phone call but I mean I don't know like, I don't think I do I don't think I do like even at home people be like are you upset or something obviously if somebody dies that's a different situation but like just something that is just about me my own life I don't really I don't think I do no that's a definite I don't that's you're right you love cooking healthy food no i love cooking food i actually love cooking on its own like i love food so 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 much and food actually makes gets me excited but and i like cooking i like cooking new things like i'm really good with like just looking at recipes and cooking and i actually like looking at recipes and making new things i really like that so yeah i like cooking not necessarily healthy food but it's whatever like right now i'm actually going like on a diet so i'm avoiding to eat loads of things and i'm working out all the time so i like to make my food a little bit more exciting and something to actually look forward to so i can actually carry on with my day if that makes sense so yeah you never got a zit in your entire life who has never gotten a zit in their entire life come on guys my skin is not that good like you lot say it is it's actually not I do get zits all the time, not all the time, but I do get zits quite often and obviously I have gotten zits in my life. Anyway, let's move from there. You don't want kids, just pets. That is so crazy. I love kids so, so much and I 100% want to have kids. I definitely want to have, I think, three kids. Yeah, three or four. Like, I've been around kids all my life and like kids as in like i had siblings and i would i would want to have kids myself and or my kids to have siblings too so i definitely want kids like i just not i do want a cat right now <laughs> i have a dog and i want a cat just because why not like cats are so cute and i have a thing for cats right now so i just thought i want to get a cat but nobody in my house agrees with that so but then again no one in my house agreed with getting a dog and i still did so maybe well maybe one day i'll just surprise them with a cat you know who knows <laughs> but yeah anyway um you're very loyal towards people that love you but if someone you love fucks up with you bye bye that is very true like i'm the kind of person that i don't chase people so that is not that not saying that it's good but i'm the kind of person that i don't go after people and if you kind of hurt me, like if I hurt you, it's different. I'll go after, obviously after you and apologize and stuff. But if I haven't done anything to you whatsoever, not that I've known, I've done, and you just like move away or like distance yourself, I'm not going to be the one to go after you. And that might be bad. Maybe I should just approach the person and be like, oh, what's wrong? But I'm just not the type of person to do that. So I do lose people a lot because of this, because of the way i am but if you do me dirty or do any of my friends dirty i will never actually talk to you again just in that sense that was like <clears throat> but yeah what was i saying i delicious got lost but yeah if you like do anything bad to me i literally can't just be like just forgive and just move on unless i mean if you come to me like apologize and stuff i'll take a little bit you know but then i'll be fine but it's like, like for example, I, was, I broke up with my best friend like what, two years ago, I think. And I like, it was literally my fault. But I literally just didn't speak with her and for months. And even when like, oh, I miss this person, I actually want to speak with them. I wonder how they are. I just 
don't go like i'm not gonna be the person even though how much i want it and i actually have to change that i have to be the person to just go to people and just be like you know what oh sorry let's just move on let's just be friends again but if you do me dirty it's really hard for me to just like let that go and just pretend that like nothing happened i always think of that so it's a little hard obviously it's not the same way of relationships with 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 girls and stuff like my friends it's always a li with my friends like we always like fight and stuff and we always make it up together so that's different but i don't know it's the thing i don't know i'm just too old i just i'm just not in this you know fights and things like i don't have time to be dealing with this stuff so if you go away move away from me and i'm making a difference in your life then you make no difference in mine and that's that so we just stay that way you know that's just it. We just stay that way. Uh, you're very short. You guys are just rude, you know. You guys very much know my height on Instagram. But yeah, I am short. I'm five foot two, I think. Yeah, I'm not that short, right? I'm average, right? Five foot two or three. I think it's two. Yeah, it's two. <sighs> you clap your ass while you're in bed. Like, you ask this thing, you know. You clap your ass while you're in bed. Uh, I don't know, my ass is actually quite small. A lot of people say, a, a lot of people say that before they get to know you, you seem mean and intimidating. Who said this to you? Who? Who said? <laughs> that is so, I want to know who because that is not okay. I don't, I'm not intimidating at all. I'm actually very friendly, I believe. I believe I'm very friendly. Like, I'm, I don't think I'm intimidating at all. Or mean, like, I, I might seem mean. But not intimidating. Mean just in because I kind of say things that come to my head before I even think about it. Yeah, I kind of just take them out straight away. Don't really deep or process it before I say it. And that might come across as mean. So I would understand that. But intimidating, no. I'm very friendly. I have, I have to say, I'm very friendly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm friendly. You're a strong believer on the zodiac sign, 100%. I love my Virgo people, you know. We crazy, but we, we here. I do love zodiac signs. I read every... I, I, I'm always on it, like, especially mine. Like, I know everything about it, so I'm very keen on that, you know. All my Virgo people comment down below and be like, cases. Anyway, you're very blunt and don't give a fuck uh i am very blunt i can be very blunt to people to anything to be honest i can be very i can just ignore whatever it is but i don't give a fuck either don't really care like yeah yeah i'm literally like that i just described what the sentence said yeah i'm i'm like that you're ridiculously smart i wish i actually don't think i'm smart i don't know i'd never i don't give myself credit like that i don't know if i'm smart or not Maybe I am. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know this one. <laughs> You're such a sweet soul. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> that is sweet. You're one of those people that laugh when the other's telling you something serious. That is 100% me. <laughs> the person that said it knows me. But that is... That is 100% me, guys. Literally, when my nan passed away, I always think... I think I was like... 10 i believe or nine I'm, I'm not sure and i remember my mom coming to me and she was like um yeah your nan passed away and i was like huh like I, do you know when you just have like that nervous laugh and that was literally my reaction and yeah when people are telling me something i like don't know how to act if it's something like extremely serious i don't know how to act it's not that i'm actually laughing or i find it funny it's just my, I don't know how to react to serious stuff and it's like a nervous laugh if a nervous smile or nervous laugh if that makes sense so yeah somebody else said you're dating you lot are all at my business <laughs> you can't cook I can we've discussed this guys I can cook and if you give me a recipe or tell me something to do I will cook and it'll be nice like everyone that at least eats my food says it's nice like i'm the biggest tester and i'll judge my food even more like if it's not nice i'll be like mm, this needs to be changed patricia but yeah everyone that eats my food is okay with it at least so not unless they're lying to me anyway top 
Guinness influencer keep it up thanks a sweet person that's sweet <laughs> um hates anything that crawls not really i didn't i just the one animal i absolutely hate is spiders obviously i can't see spiders i can't see spiders walk and their legs they're just ugh. but anything else i don't really mind don't mind crawling stuff no bothers gets uh, scared very easily i don't I don't think so no you like arguing i don't actually like arguing but people seem like i get really like if you trying to like if you bring up like when i'm trying to explain a point kind of thing i might sound argumentative or that i'm arguing with somebody but that's just the way i talk like to express myself i kind of just go a little bit louder and my and it might and it sounds a little bit more aggressive and it might sound that like arguing but i'm not like that and sometimes i'm just like why are you talking like that like just chill but it's just i don't know why i do that i really don't know you're an emotional person i am actually a really emotional person and people just don't see that they actually think i'm so defensive and very like you know but i'm not i'm actually very sensitive and yeah i get emotional very quickly like i cry with like tv shows even disney channel shows i cry so i have i'm a very emotional person like things anything I, I can literally cry i remember one time me and my friends were like in school and we were talking about like people dying and we mentioned like our mums and we literally start crying it was like the now looking back is like the funniest thing ever but we fully on cry like we had tears in our eyes we were literally talking how how would feel if our pair if our mums passed away and we were all like in tears it was crazy guys you're so crazy but yeah, <laughs> your hair is fake this one yeah <laughs> but my real hair ain't you have a small friendship groups yeah we've mentioned this i do your dog is your only friend. My dog is my son, is my life, my baby boy. Yes, I do love him. He's definitely my biggest best friend. Definitely my best friend. Like that's my boy. He, I do cry in front of him. So that is for real. You seem like you out. You seem like you're outgoing and fun to be around. Thank you. I think so too. Um. I don't think there's a lot more left so let's see you're very organized but can be messy when your head when your head isn't there 100 percent like lately oh my god i just spat hold on lately i've been super organized and i just have everything like on schedule and everything so my life has been really reorganized for the past few weeks and i just really love that like everything that i need to do on the day is like on track and it's super good so i've definitely been really really organized in this sense but when my room is a messy a mess trust me it's very very messy like it's crazy but lately it's just i've just been really good like my head is literally in place right now you love to cook we've been through this i do you don't really like to show your em em emotions that yeah, we said this you don't want kids i do we've discussed this ne never get negative comments don't affect you so it's the same thing like before they they don't affect me like that i know they don't but it's something that i might rethink later on but i won't deep at the moment you tell me definitely not you wear the punch in your relationship i don't think i do no i don't i really don't i think this was the last question oh there's a few more I really don't. No, I don't. You're questioned. Okay, this one. You don't. No, you've questioned your sexuality before. No, I have never. I absolutely love males, and I don't really, you know. I'd love to have a threesome or something like that with a girl and a boy, but just out of curiosity, you know, that I'm like questioned it only being with a girl. No, never. I love males, and uh, yeah. No. <laughs> anyway, you don't mind being single and you're working on yourself. 100%. This is my motto for 2021. It's just work on yourself, get yourself where you want to be before you find somebody else to put in your life. Like, I want to be in a position where I love myself and currently I've been loving myself and I just literally want to work on me. And I feel like you can't get somebody to love you if you don't really love yourself or if you're not in the position where you truly strongly love yourself because if you don't love yourself you let people sit around and do whatever they want to you 
and that's not okay so definitely put yourself in a position where you love yourself and that nobody can tell you any different you gorgeous you're beautiful and you you can do whatever you want in life and you can accomplish everything and life is just amazing and that's that and you're beautiful girl and we are beautiful and that is everything you know so i definitely that is very strong me i'm definitely working on myself and 2021 is gonna be all about that me working on myself and achieving my goals and yeah so um, that is it i think this is the last one yeah definitely so yeah guys that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed these questions because it was quite i feel like it was quite fun i mean i did talk a lot i did talk for like 25 minutes so <laughs> oopsie <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video definitely make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell button so you get notified every time i upload a video don't forget to like this video if you did like this video also go ahead and follow me on instagram i'm always always active there i've been really active recently so that's good definitely go there and hit me up and yes yeah, so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on my next video bye